In this video, we will migrate an Amazon EC2 server from one AWS account to another AWS account. Here are the steps involved. Log into source AWS account. Create a new AMI based on the EC2 server. Share the AMI with the destination AWS account. Log into destination AWS account. Create a new EC2 server with shared AMI. Uh, go to Amazon EC2 console. Then go to the instances. Then you will see all your Amazon EC2 surveys. Right click on the EC2 instance and that you need to migrate. Then go to images, image and templates. Click on create image. Now give the image a name. Uh, you can specify the disk space here. This server has 50 GB. No need to change this unless you need more disk space or something. Click on create image. To see the image you can go to images then click on the AMIs. On this page you will see the new image is getting created. The status is pending. The name is WP image. This is the one we given. Image creation will take some time. You need to wait. Once the image is created, we will be able to start a new server from this image that have all the data of the source instance. But we want to create a new server using this image on a different AWS account. For that, you need to share this image with another AWS account. Let us go to the other AWS account. This is the AWS account that we will be migrating the Amazon EC2 service to. We need to find the account ID for this AWS account. For that click on the click. This is the account ID. You will see the number right side of my account. We need to copy that. Then go to the source AWS account. Then click on the AMI. Then you get the details here. Then there is a permission tab. Click on the edit button here. Then you need to put the AWS account number of your destination AWS account. Uh, click on the add permission. Then you need to click this checkbox. Add create volume permission and click save. When we try to share, we got this error. Modifying permission failed for following reasons the snapshot is not completed state we have not yet completed the image creation the status is pending right now so we have to wait some time the image creation is now completed now we can share the image with the other AWS account for that go to the permission click on edit now log into the other AWS account and click on the username then get the account ID number copy it and paste in the account number text box here click on add permission then you need to check this checkbox add create volume permissions then click on save the source EC2 server is in region US East 1 when you create an AMI it will get created on same region as the EC2 server so let's log into the new AWS account. Change region to US East 1. Under instances, you can create a new instance. Click on my AMIs, then enable shared with me. That will show the shared AMI. Now you can click on select button. On this page, we have to select instance type. We will use same instance type as the source server. Uh, this server is t2 small so let us find this is a t2 small we can use t3 small that is the newest version have two cpus and 2 gb ram if we go with t2 small then it is one vcpu and 2 gb ram we will go with t3 small click on next to configure instance details on this page you can keep the default settings Click on add storage. On add storage page, you can specify the size of the disk. Default value is same as the source server. In this case, I don't need more disk, so I will keep the default value. There is a delete on terminate checkbox. If you uncheck the checkbox, the disk will not get deleted when the EC2 server is deleted. Uncheck the checkbox on production service. So in case you accidentally deleted the EC2 server, you still have the data. Click on next add tags. 
we can give it a name name I will give the same as in the source server this is the source server the name is WWP click on next security configuration we need to add all the firewall rules like in the source server let us see what ports we need under security we have 80 22 inbound okay click on the security group 80 for HTTP HTTPS SSH so this is SSH is fine now we have to add HTTPS and HTTP okay we can give it a name WWP is security group click on review and launch click on launch it will show a pop-up asking you to select a key pair from the drop down select create a new key pair give it a name click download key pair button this key is used to log into server using SSH so keep it safe click on launch instance now we have the new server created that is exact copy of the source server the default EC2 server IP will change when you shut down the server to make the IP permanent we need to assign an elastic IP address to the EC2 server from the left menu click on elastic IP click on associate elastic IP address button scroll down click on associate button now we have an elastic IP address click on the IP let's add a tag to identify the IP address click on manage tags give it a name WWP IP save next we need to connect the elastic IP to the EC2 server click on associate elastic IP address button from the drop down select the EC2 instance click associate at this point you should be able to SSH into the server using downloaded PEM file thank you for watching the video if you find the video useful please subscribe for more videos like this